hello everyone welcome back to another informative video in this video i'm going to specifically answer a question asked by a viewer the question is how do you fertilize the mint and the minting reference is the mint grown hydroponically here now the fertilizers that are used are veg grow which has a number of different nutrient elements as you can see right there uh, the calcium nitrate and the potassium nitrate these are what are um combine to make the concentrated stock solution now in terms of the amount in pounds one bag of vegetables is used and this is basically to 50 gallon to a 50 gallon drum right 50 gallons of water so one bag of vegetables is used and the, and the, the amount that is in the one bag is 25 pounds so 25 pounds of vegetable um, 40 pounds of calcium nitrate and 10 pounds of potassium nitrate to the 50 gallon drum filled with water so that is what is 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 mixed right but what happened is that if you watch my previous videos you find that you have a a, 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 a tank a and a tank b because you can't mix calcium this calcium with phosphate and sulfate and um uh phosphorus and 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 a bit of sulfur is inside the veg growth so you can't mix these so what happens is that you mix the calcium nitrate and you and you could put the pot potassium nitrate to get together right and then you put the veg grow by itself you understand if you watch previous videos of mine you'll understand how to do that so that's that so let us go around where the the tank the the, the we are going to the stock a and stock b Thanks. Right? Alright, Jackie. Um, so this is this is the station, right? Now this is these are the two um concentrated tanks, right? Uh so this tank basically has in the veg grow and this having the potassium um, nitrate and the calcium nitrate, right? Um you could also mix the potassium nitrate with the with the veg grow so you could put the potassium nitrate and the veg grow in this in this tank right because there is no calcium in this in in any of them to cause any precipitation right but you just always make the ensure that the calcium is not mixed with any um phosphate or sulfate so that is it so let us so when we mix these these two jump right we basically um Put it a one to one hundred um, ratio to, uh, into the final solution. Essentially, if you have one hundred gallons of water in the tank, you basically take out one gallon of this, one gallon of this, and put it into the tank, into the, into the tank. So I'm going to show you the tank that basically feeds the feeds the um, the mint, right? So so let us look at the mint. So this is the mint, right? Um, and before we go any further, let me just show you what happens. So the tank is down there, right? Um, and the tank has a pump. So the pump pumps the water from the mint tank, pumps it through uh, um, some, some pipelines, and then it, co it comes up through, through these right here, right? It comes up through this pipe and it comes into here and it runs into the gravel. So gravel is inside as the, as the, as the um, the growing medium right and it runs into the canal runs down runs down runs down runs down and then it comes out at this end when it comes out at this end as you can see it runs out into that into the the, the lower um, canals and then it runs out through this pipe and then it re return as you can see this is a return line and it goes back straight to the to the main tank um, so that's basically how the water goes into the mint so it's basically like a um a flood and drain system or ebb and flow if you want to put it that way right but this is how all the mints are as you can see it, it comes in at that hen right for this section and then it runs out back here and it goes down goes down and it goes down into this lower canal on the ground and it runs out right there and goes back so that is the concept right that is the concept um so i'm going to show you the basically the um 
I'm going to show you the tank, right? So this is this this these two this this is a pump station, right? Um, and this is the tank. This is the main tank, right? Uh, as you can see, I have my pH meter inside. It's measuring 1265 ppm. The pH 6.6, .6, right? Um, we want to get that down to like 6 6.6 or 6.2 somewhere there. So we're just basically going to add a little bit of acid, right? Um, so that is it. So what happened is that when you when you switch on this switch, this switch on here and you switch it on, you basically turn on the water and and, and it, it runs through as I showed you before. So that's basically how how it is how, how the mint is is fertilized, right? Another thing I need to add is that this water is changed once every two weeks, right? So two times per month this is changed, right? Ideally, we'd want to do it um, a bit more frequent, like maybe one time per week, um, right? But it's it's done bi-weekly, one time every two weeks, right? And as I said, you know the amount of gallons of water that is inside, um, and it's one to one hundred, one parts of concentrated stock solution which we keep in these tanks right to 100 parts of water so that that's basically how it is fertilized so if you have any other specific questions or any comments you know, put them in the comments here and for the specific viewer um i hope you 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 who ask the question i hope you watch this video and understand and please reach out to me if you have any other specific questions as i said please remember to subscribe to the channel again um, please like the videos, right? That goes a far way as well in terms of putting the video out there, right? You know, just do that as a golden rule. Just like the video. When you start to watch it, just press the like button and like the video, right? Um, because it's, these are valuable information, inv invaluable information going out that people want. These are practical information that can add to your growing setup so you could understand exactly how to do things and, and, and you know, why certain things occur and so on. So, um, yeah, uh, that is it. Bye-bye.